Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on installing your own Python packages on CHPC resources. This video will cover both Python 2 and Python 3. Virtual environments are what we'll be using and they allow you to install and modify your own Python packages without installing a Python distribution. But they still let you use system packages so that you can install your own packages but also use things like NumPy. The main difference between Python 3 and Python 2 is the command, but otherwise they're very similar. The first thing you'll want to do is sign into a chpc Linux resource. So here I'm just going to use the ssh command and ssh to ember.chpc.utah.edu, but any Linux resource should work. You'll want to use the Python distribution that you want to base yours off of. So if you just run the Python command, normally it's not any sort of up-to-date package. So what you really want to do is use the module version of Python. And you can find which ones are available by running module spider Python. And you'll typically want either Python 2.7.11 or Python 3.5.2. I'm going to start off with Python 3.5.2. So I'll type module load Python 3.5.2. And now if I run which Python again, you'll see that it is the updated version. And in fact, Python and Python 3 are both symbolically linked to this Python package or this Python module, sorry. To create your virtual environment, you want to run pyvenv dash dash system dash site dash packages and then the directory you want to create it in. pyvenv is the command you'll want to use for Python 3 and the system site packages flag here lets you use the packages that are already installed on the system version of Python. It inherits them from your the distribution you're using. Once this loads, you'll want to actually load the new distribution. And to do this, you first have to unload the module. So I'll module unload Python 3.5.2 and then source the activation file. So source the directory you created slash bin slash activate. And when I run this command, you'll see over here on the left, there's now this text that has the directory we created earlier. And if I run which Python, there is now a bin Python inside of the directory we created up here. You can deactivate it by typing deactivate. And this will take you back to the default Python that is uh, normally accessed on the clusters and you can get right back into it by typing source. If I run Python and try to load a package that's not installed, I should get an error now, but I can install this package with python-m pip install and then the name of the package if it's on the Python package index. So at this point, I can run Python again. And when I run this same command, this import package name, there's now no error. Where up here, there was an import error uh, right here. Uh, now there's nothing, and that's a good sign. That means it worked. And also, you can import something like NumPy again. And it should work because we used the system packages as well when we loaded this virtual environment. It's also possible to do more advanced installations. And if you need to do this, 
uh, look on the documentation page on the CHPC website under documentation, software, and Python. And then on the Python page, if you scroll down, there is a link that says Python virtual environment page. And this has all of the instructions that I've been basing this video on, but it also has some additional information about installing packages that have dependencies. So if you click on this, you'll see the one we've already covered with the Python dash M command and some other useful commands. But that really only works for packages that are in the Python package index or py py pypi dot python dot org. And there's a lot of different packages on here. There's uh, many to choose from, but I'm going to search for the one that I actually installed. And the 0.6.2 is the version that I actually installed in my virtual environment. And this is where it came from. And there you can see it's the same version. So it is just fetching them from that website. But on occasion, you might actually have some more complicated package installs. If there's just the source code that's not on the Python package index, you'll probably need to download it and uh, get all of the files out of the archive with the tar command and then run the Python setup.py and Python setup.py install, setup.py build and setup.py install, excuse me, commands uh, to install the package. And that will by default install it in the virtual environment directory. And you can actually modify this with the dash dash prefix command, just in case you have multiple uh, virtual environments, but that's typically not used. And you can see here when the prefix flag is not specified, it will automatically be set to your virtual environment directory. You can also use even more advanced installations if the package requires it. Uh, this is typically done if there are dependencies that aren't in a location where they can normally be found and you need to set something like library flags. But it follows the same premise with the Python setup.py and Python setup.py build and install commands, excuse me again. Uh, and the only thing that's really changed are all of these export commands. And the reason I'm not going to go into much depth on these is that it changes depending on the package you're trying to install. So you'll see up here, this is for the net CDF4 package. And there are some uh, different variables that you have to set for net CDF4 specifically. And this is typical. So that should cover it for all of the Python 3 installations. So if I just deactivate now and then remove it entirely with the rm-r command uh, and make sure you actually put the directory name after this or you'll remove everything in your current directory. Python 2 is actually very similar. So you can do module spider Python again. And in this case, we want to use 2.7.11, and you'll typically want to use the most recent version of Python 2. So I'll module load Python 2.7.11. And then if I run which Python, it is in fact the 2.7.11 and not the default version. So this is the one I want to base my virtual environment on. And with Python 2, the command is virtual env instead of pi v env, uh, but the rest of it is identical. You do want the dash dash system site packages flag after the virtual env command, and you also have the directory you want to create it in. This process can take some time just to set everything up. Once this is ready, it's almost identical to the Python 3 instructions. 
Uh, you'll see right now that I am still on the Python 2.7.11 version, so I can unload that and then source the bin activate binary in the directory I created the virtual environment in. And now I have this text again at the left for my virtual environment and my Python executable has changed. The process for installing packages is pretty much the same. So if I run Python and then try to import a package I don't have, I'll get an import error and I can run the Python dash M pip install and then the package name. And once this is downloaded, I can run Python again and try to import this package. And this time there are no errors. You can deactivate this virtual environment with the deactivate command and then remove all of its contents with the rm-r, the directory you want to remove. And that should cover package installations. If you have any questions, you can email us at issues at chpc.utah.edu or stop by our offices in INSCC 405. Thanks for watching.